Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany here, AKA The Empowered Para. And on today's video, I am going to show you guys how I get from the floor into my wheelchair. Something that I had no idea how to do for 19 years as a wheelchair user. And two years ago, I finally figured it out. So I'm gonna give you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get back in your chair. I'm gonna show you where I grab on my wheelchair, where I shift my weight to, and how I get back in my chair. Because for me, that was the hardest part. I could watch a million YouTube videos, and I did, and I still couldn't get back in my chair because I just couldn't figure out where to put my hands, where to rest my weight, where to do all that stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do so that it might help you if you don't know how to get in your chair. Got a sidekick here. <laughs> Just in case I fall out of my chair and I can't get back in, are you gonna help me get in? Yeah. You will? Yeah. Oh well look at that. Yeah. I don't have to I don't have my to know how to get in my chair. My eight-year-old daughter can get me into it. Yeah. The reason that I wanted to learn how to get into my chair from the floor was really because I was scared of falling out of my chair when there was nobody around that could get me in. And it was just embarrassing when I fell out of my chair and I had to like hail somebody down for help. Uh, so that was the biggest reason. Another reason was because I wanted to start traveling uh, independently. I had always traveled with somebody that could help me and I wanted to be able to travel completely on my own uh, and not need anybody's help. So I wanted to learn how to get in my chair for that reason. Also, so that if I was like in a hotel room or something and I fell off the bed or, you know, just, fell in the shower or something, I knew that I would be able to get myself back in my chair uh, without having to like call a hotel staff person to come in and get me, you know, off the floor in the bathroom. So those were the reasons that I wanted to learn how to get back in my chair. I also, you know, have two kids and I just didn't want them to have to be the ones that were helping me or getting help for me. I wanted to be able to, you know, take care of them, travel with them do all the things I wanted to do without uh, worrying about whether I could get back in my chair if I, if I ever fell out. So that was a long winded explanation about why I wanted to learn how to get in my chair. So now I will show you how I get out of my chair and then I'll show you how I get back into my chair. I go out of my chair straight down. So uh, when I first was learning how to get out of my chair, I used to get my butt out like this and then try and put my arm down on the floor, but it, I always felt like I was gonna lose my balance. So I don't like doing that. So I go straight out like this. So I'm gonna scooch my butt to the edge of my seat. And then I'm going to put a pillow here so that my butt doesn't touch the hard ground. All right, so I go down, I just, lifting my butt to the edge of my seat. And then I have my hands on either side of my wheelchair frame right in front of my cushion. And I just let myself down slowly, like I'm doing a dip. And out, like that. Okay, so I am on the floor. Make sure my tailbone is on the pillow so it doesn't hurt. And now I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna give you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial of how I do it. It's really only three steps, maybe four, three or four, we'll see. But um, it's quick now, it used to take me a long time, but trust me, it can be done once you do it long enough. Okay, here we go, step number one. Put your hand on the top of your wheelchair frame, just where it meets the cushion, where it's sort of flat. I guess I should say with your dominant hand. So reach back with your dominant hand, whether it's 
left or right, mine's right, and put it on the wheelchair frame just above uh, or just where it meets the cushion, just at the top where it's flat. Step number two, reach back with your other hand and put it on the arm of the caster, the caster arm, the flat part. So I've got my arms both reached back like that. Step number three, do a big lift until basically the middle of your back touches the, uh, the edge of your cushion, the outer edge of your cushion, and then lean your weight back on the cushion. Lean the top of your back on your cushion. So here we go. So I'm up until my, basically the, my mid back, maybe my low back is on the cushion. And then I lean back with all my weight onto the cushion so that I can let go with this hand. And I'm just sort of laying here until I can reach the top of my wheelchair. And I'm gonna put my hand, my left hand in the same spot as my right hand, put it on the other side. Then I'm gonna lean forward and do a big lift. And then my cushion is bending. So I have to sort of squish it under my butt as I lift with my other hand on the left side and then push it back under, under my butt. And that's it. So step number one, reach back and put your right hand or your dominant hand on the top of your wheelchair frame. Step number two, reach back and put your non-dominant hand on the arm, your caster arm, the flat part of your caster arm. Step number three, do a big lift until your mid to low back is touching the edge of your cushion. And then you lay back on your cushion with all of your upper body weight on your cushion. Then you take your left hand or your non-dominant hand that was on the caster arm, move it up to the other side of your wheelchair frame and then do lean forward and do a big lift so that your butt comes all the way up onto your cushion. So I'll do that one more time. Close ups of the steps. Step one, step one, take your dominant arm and reach back and put it on the top of your wheelchair frame just where it meets your cushion, just at the flat part where it meets your cushion. Mm -hmm. Step number two, take your other hand, your non-dominant hand, reach back and put it on the caster arm, the flat part of the caster arm. Step number three, do a big lift until your mid to low back is touching the edge, this edge of your wheelchair cushion, and then lean back and put all of your weight your upper back weight on your cushion. So step one, reach back, put your hand on the frame of the wheelchair. Step two, put your other hand on the caster arm. Step three, big lift until your mid to low back. Come over here, Jacob. Your mid to low back is touching the cushion. Then lean all of your weight on the cushion so that you can release this hand and put it on the other side of the wheelchair frame. Then you lean forward again, big lift up, and onto your cushion. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a comment below. Better yet, post a video of yourself getting your chair if you use my technique. Thanks so much for watching. That is it for tonight, guys. I will see you on the next video. I'm like just not having this tonight.